Yo, what up? It is the 20th of February, 2024, and it's currently 10.24 p.m. on a Tuesday. It's Tuesday today. Got two letters back from Fridge and Victoria. Oh, no spoon. Thanks for the letter. It was a masterpiece. I should have brought that, tr brought that trash can. What the hell? I guess she didn't like my letter very much. I respond to people ASAP. You should too. I hope you totally dig this. Well, Victoria seemed to like that. I'm not tolerating such mean letters. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I used a slang term. <laughs> have to be pretty careful. A ranch tea table. I actually don't know if I have that or not. I didn't mean to open up Microsoft Word. Let's have a look, a ranch tea table. I'm gonna go up to the top and do my check for Gulliver flying by. Today we have a very special item in stock, the cabana armchair. I can have a look and see if I've got that while I'm waiting. Okay. First of all, ranch tea table. Hmm. Ranch. Yeah, I have that already. A uh, cabana armchair. Let's have a look. Um, oh, I do not have that. That's a spotlight item I don't own yet, which is good, because I need a lot of those. Uh, so I'll be buying that today. I'm just going to wait one more minute, and then we'll see if Gulliver's flying by tonight. I know that I could probably just rush to the town gate instead of doing it like this. But I can't do that now. Now that I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm already here, you know. Might as well just uh, wait. Oh my god! I think a minute would last around the amount that a minute usually does. Still 1026. There we go. Okay, let's see. It's 1027. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. So I'm going to make a wild guess and say that the UFO is not coming today. Just... Yeah. Pretty confident. Okay. Can confirm. No UFO today. Alright. Well, might as well go into the town gate and see who I actually have, if anyone. Could be... I don't really know if, um... If there's many rules, because I know New Horizons has some rules regarding, like, back-to-back -back week weeks for visitors. Oh. Oh, uh, Wendell's here today. Hmm. Oh, you know, I should have... I need to buy a red turnip for Wendell, because I've got... I need to get an item from him which requires having a red turnip. Because otherwise Wendell's pretty useless to me, because all well, he gives his uh, custom designs. Which, granted, are cool. I like them, but... Yeah. I mean, actually, Wendell's custom designs were what inspired my first path design, and I think they might have inspired this current one as well. I don't remember. Uh, oh yeah, Marina was sick yesterday, wasn't she? I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna buy some medicine. By the cabana armchair while I'm at it. I wonder if I have that stool. Looks pretty generic, like I would have it. You'd think. You'd th I really feel like I'd have this as well. If I had to guess if I had this or not without looking at this spreadsheet, then I would have guessed yes, but... I guess I didn't have it. 
Alright. And I definitely have this fridge. Right. Oh, that's a clothes closet. What was the deluxe fridge? Do I have the clothes closet? Yeah, I do. There you go. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. And now let's check the Able Sisters. Oh, okay, we're in the door. Still waiting out for, for getting that final umbrella that I need. I've got 31 out of 32 umbrellas, and I have not seen the yellow umbrella at all. That's a little baby bonnet. I have that already. What is this? This looks like a... Looks like a folk shirt. Folk, folk shirt. Can I just order... I'm ordering my <laughs> clothes alphabetically. I don't know why. It's always ordered so weirdly. Oh, I do need the folk shirt. That's a winter shirt. Oh, I'm very glad to get that. I only have so many days left of winter uh, to get all the winter clothing. And then I, I probably have these two. Red one. Yeah, I have that. And then this is the... Chinese shirt. Yeah, I have that as well, don't I? Let me make sure. Ch -ch -ch Chinese. Yeah, okay. So, let me look at how many winter outfits I still need. Winter. Let's look. Find. Okay. Um, one. Hold on. Two, okay. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Five. I'm missing five winter clothes, and I have about nine days of February left. Which, mm, pretty bad odds, <laughs> can't lie. Oh, hey, Poncho. As you know, I had a bit of a dilemma with deciding if I wanted Poncho to move out yesterday. But he's here now. For the foreseeable future. Hey, yeah, I saw Hugh and Victoria gazing into each other's eyes. Yeah, just the other day, I think they were having a staring contest. Wait, what? You think something's funny going- Something funny's going on, little bear? No, Poncho. I think they're just... staring. Like normal people do. <laughs> Yeah, if I, I would hope I could get the five winter clothes while I still have uh, time left. I mean, I'm going to be playing all year, and obviously December is also winter. Uh, so I'll be able to get... Uh, I'll be able to have an, an, a whole month to get those winter clothes as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's not that. It's not the end of the world. I guess I could try and do a good push for getting clothes from other villages, like as gifts. Oh, hello, Wendell. I might as well talk to him, but I'm just gonna water these flowers first. Because, yeah, you, villagers can give you clothes for, like, favors, and if you give them letters with, with gifts in them, so maybe I should just try and do as many of those as possible to give myself a decent chance. I don't know. I mean... Yeah, I, I mean, five shirts. I, I'm sure I'll get at least one before the end of the month. Ooh. Message in a bottle. Let's see what it says. So really... I like the way messages in a bottle are in this game. A confession. I'm gonna make a killing on turnips, or so I thought, until I ate them. <laughs> a hungry day trader. Well, bye-bye. I know who would eat turnips are Wendell and Lazy Villages. Did I? I think I talked about that. I don't know if I talked about that on here, actually. I was like, I was thinking about, like, what turnips even have value as... Because, so it's, it's... The stock market is obviously a parody of the stock market. But stocks uh, have value because of, like, the attachment they have to companies that make money. The stocks, on the other hand, turnips... A, a food, but Joan specifically says that you're not supposed to eat turnips. You're supposed to sell them. 
So they, I guess they're like a cryptocurrency. The thing about them though is that... Oh, I feel so much better. I didn't think it would work that fast. The thing about that though is that turnips spoil after a week. So Nook buys turnips off of you and then they go out, out of date within like the week. So what is it, what are they for then? I don't understand. Like, it's kind of... kind of doesn't make any sense. Like, this this uh, world's economy wouldn't be so good. You know, everyone's constantly making, like, millions of dollars off of a really weird system. I guess it's uh, not too much different from our actual world, now that I think about it. I don't know where Wendell went. I'm just gonna keep talking to villagers and doing the normal stuff. It's been a while since Wendell visited. I think the first time he visited, and the last time he visited this year was in January, like early January as well. Which of your favorite, which of your body parts is your favorite? Probably my face. Well, that's kind of too bad, because that really isn't your best feature. you got to admit, my face is way stronger and more chiseled than yours. Oh, whatever, Peewee. <sighs> whatever. I mean, what can you do? You have to be proud of what you got. If you're ashamed of your face, then what are you even going to do? I mean, I guess you can get those... Like, you can get, like, Botox. Don't get Botox, though. That's a bad idea. I hope people get so much plastic surgery that they don't even look like humans anymore. It's kind of scary. In fact, it's really scary. But I got a fossil, so it's okay, I guess. I don't know where Wendell went. I feel like he just disappeared. I did have multiple opportunities to talk to him that I deliberately ignored, but... I thought that that would be a good idea, not a bad idea. Man, it's so laggy in this area. <laughs> With the combination of there usually being a lot of villages around this area and also all of the flowers and the trees and the houses. It's the busiest area of the whole village and the game cannot handle it. Do you know how the flea market works? Oh, nope. The flea market specializes in items for the home. You go into each other's houses and make deals for pieces if you want. So what I'm saying is you should be nice to pushovers with good taste. Daisy! Have you noticed how tough it is to keep up with the latest slang? Well, I'm sick of being behind the curve. Let's make up our own slang. Then maybe we'll be the ones starting the trends around here. Bow wow. That's great. I'm glad you want to help. All right, make it special. What do dogs say? Say like woof and stuff? And like bark? This is for, oh, greeting. Oh, um, I don't know. Like greeting, that's hard. I mean, what do dogs say? Dogs don't talk, usually. Hmm. Um. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I was trying to think of something clever. Maybe I should just think of something stupid instead, like, um. With. Waffle. That's a little bit too stupid for my taste. Um. What would Daisy. Well, Daisy's very nice. So, what would Daisy say? Like, uh. Hey, uh. I don't know. <laughs> this is hard. Higher. I'm gonna do higher. Higher. Hey ya! Yeah, so it's higher, right? That's fine. Hiya, oh, yeah. how's that? Do you like the sound of it? From now on, that's how I'm gonna greet you when I see you. Come chat with me sometime and I'll try it out on you. Okay. Hiya! Oh, yeah. Where does the day go? You see, that seems pretty natural. What can I do for you? 
I wonder what it would be like if I had a best friend in this town. Sometimes I want to be treated mean, just a little though. <laughs> and then I like to pretend to be mad to hide my true feelings. Or I'd pretend to be crying to make my friend just a little upset. That's funny. <laughs> Do you mean that? Oh, that's great. Now it lets you and me be best friends. This will be so fun. Oh, She's so nice. Oh, something ba bad's going down. Phew, I hear you've been eating diet chocolate souffle. Why? Everyone knows that diet food is a crime against humanity. Oh, uh, what? I only eat it morning, noon, and night. It, uh, fills in the gaps. I just get so hungry between meals, you know? No, you, no, you wouldn't understand. No one ever understands me. I'm hungry all the time and no one cares. I mean, what will they come up with next? Diet butter? Low-carb potato nubs? I don't want to live in a world where we have to eat sugar-free sugar cookies. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There's something special about the interactions in this game. I have seen the occasional good interaction in New Horizons. It's just... It feels like they just, uh... Don't come up very often. I heard the reason why that is, the, why that's like that is because of... The, the villagers get, like, very hung up on specific things very easily. Like, if they're in the museum, they'll always talk about whatever's in the museum and stuff like that. But, like more general than that where like if they like a certain hobby they'll talk about that hobby like way too much i heard that that's what the issue was but i don't know the other day i ran into fork i knew someone could be such a millionaire you know what i want to maybe i should make my i've talked about this i should make my other villages better so that everyone stops talking about them being so horrible although we're talking about saying fork's like a millionaire so i don't know if that's sarcastic or if they're just saying that. I mean, right now Fork has like 10,000 bells on him. Because I gave 10,000 bells to him one time. Well, I don't know why I'm saying him like it isn't just me, but you know what I mean. Oh, this, this flower's sad. Oh, hey, Wendell. Do I have anything I can give to you as food? Hmm. I wonder what happens when you give him a coelacanth. Let me look. Wendell Patton's Wild World. Don't you dare escape me, Wendell. There you are. I'm just gonna make sure I'm staying near him. Uh, Wild World. Oh yeah, great. No, thank you for telling me the actual, like, things that he gives me. That's a great wiki article. Um, let's see. I just want to see. I'm pretty sure the coelacanth gives something cool. Oh no, it doesn't. Hmm. Oh wait. Oh yeah, you know, coelacanth. Fossil dummy. Well, an image of that would look nice. Probably. <laughs> oh great. I have to like cross-reference. There's an article that has images, but only the ones from City Folk, which I assume are the same. Oh, oh man. Is this even worth it? I don't want to give away my coelacanth. Uh. Ooh. I wonder if that one's in there. Hmm. Monsters. Yeah, I mean. I could give him, like, a. What happens if I give him a... Yeah. I can give him a coconut. Uh, the thing is, I don't have any space. All this stuff's being used right now. I'll talk to him. Hey, Wendell. So hungry, must eat something. Belly so empty, feels like a black hole. It screams for food, fading spell in it. Something, anything, please, I need food. Okie dokie. Uh, fossil. <laughs> eat this. What's this? Why? N not edible, but I'll take it. Oh, I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, thank Wait, what? Still so famished. He just took my fossil. I thought he was gonna give it back to me because he could need it. He just took my fossil away from me permanently. Not that I needed it or anything, but... Okay, well... Hi, Victoria. Is this everyone talked to now, Cube? Did I talk to Cube? Yes, I did. Cube Hue, Free Jim Arena, Daisy Pee Wee Puncher. Yeah. 
She sent the dame at this kid named Scoop. Totally different from you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Heard it all before. I've been good friends with Scoop for, like, forever. If this was a soap opera, it'd be a bad time for a plot twist. I guess, in a way, I, I... This is sort of like a soap opera of a game. Characters are constantly, like, being taken out. Uh, and it goes on for a really, really long time. And... Uh, it kind of gets stale after a while. I mean, I guess soap operas are kind of stale from the beginning, now that I think about it. And also, this game isn't stale. <laughs> I just find it's very easy to get yourself in a rut where you don't have much to do, so you sort of just, you know, you play for the sake of playing, like, because, you know, I have to play every day. That's part of the game. But, uh... I guess, you, you know, I, if you think about it really, really hard, if you, if there was no, like, uh, consequence for not playing daily, or if there was no, like, incentive to do it, would I, you know, be playing today? Maybe. I like checking in. I think sometimes there are things that we should do even if we don't want to do them, and I know this is kind of a silly example of that, because it's a video game that's meant to be fun, but... You know, like, I, but I think I, it's not even in a way like, oh, well, you're supposed to work because working is, will lead you to a good place. But I mean, like, sometimes doing something, even if you don't want to do it at the time, will actually be good uh, down the line because it actually is good and you just don't want to do it for some reason. Like, uh, food. Like, if you try a new food, if you don't want to try the food going into it and you end up liking the food after you taste it, then there's sort of a, uh, a, well, a dynamic going on there. Even though you didn't want to do it, you did it and it ended up being a positive experience. I think I'm going back and watering flowers I've already watered. Um, alright, what else do I have to do today? I guess nothing. I'll go get a coffee from the museum and then that'll be it for today. I said I was gonna... actually, why not? I'll order that space-themed furniture that I was talking about because I was, uh... gonna make a space room. I was hoping to get a rocket or a space shuttle yesterday from the catalog or from Crazy Red. I didn't, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. Who cares? Um... oh man, how low down is this? I wish there was a way to search. They have that in New Leaf. I found with New Leaf, though, and I think this applies further to New Horizons, they don't have the number. Because, you see, it says 478 out of 562. Uh, which is really... Um, kind of upsetting. Well, not upsetting. I shouldn't say that. But it's very, like... I don't know. I wish that... Uh, I wish that they did, because, you know, it'd be nice to be able to, to complete that game properly. And this, I mean, what, what's beneficial about this game is that, uh, here we go. Um, what's beneficial about this game is that even if you have a separate list, sometimes the separate list gets incorrect, and you need to check back with the original. So, so right now... My catalog and furniture this is what I have 478 items, did it say? Let's see if my list says that. No, right now I have 476 according to my list. Uh, which isn't crazy, but it's very annoying and that happens quite a bit. It just happens when I don't... I, I, I guess I'll just get something but I'll mark off that I got it. Which sounds like it'd be hard to do and it, I, I, it kind of is. I don't really know how it happens actually. Man, we want to land is a huge, but it would look really good on the in the room. And also, buying stuff from the catalog is really annoying. I wish you could just buy in bulk. Or what I mean is like have a, a like a like a cart, like you're shopping online. I don't even think that I don't even know if that's a thing in the newer ones. I think they just made made buying things from these catalogs easier to do, so it's not as Annoying.
I don't want to just fill this room with um, a bunch of spacecraft. But I feel like that's, a, that's kind of boring. Cause like fi I'm fine with like the asteroid, but like the, the UFO, like that seems a little bit on the nose. Uh, let's see. Space Station. And just get the whole International Space Station. Get a satellite. A satellite works though. I'll get the satellite. I'll get a satellite, the spaceman. I wonder if there's like a flag item. I don't think there is. Hmm. Oh, the closing music's playing. They're almost closing. Almost up to closing time. Really leaving this. Wait, let's look for flag. Festive flag. Exactly what I was referring to. Okay, that's the only flag in the entire game. <laughs> Alright, let's... Buy the last of our space-themed items. And my... The wallpaper and the flooring is already covered by the... Uh... Hmm... Um, by the Sahara flooring and wallpaper that I just got the other day. Uh, hmm. Do I get... Do I get the space station? Because it's a bit... Like, I can, I can picture the the lunar lander and the lunar rover and the asteroid in the corner and the, the astronaut i guess there's not really much else other than that i might as well i might as well fill it with all the space themed stuff i can get space station oh by the way the space station is pretty cool i'm guessing that's just what the I haven't seen the International Space Station in a really long time. Hmm. Well, this was 2005. So... I shouldn't keep talking. I feel like I'm gonna make myself sound really stupid. <laughs> I don't know very much about the space program. And I mean... Can't really blame me... That much. Thing about the space program is that it's always something that's kind of like, it's like always looming over our heads as like a relevant thing, but because it doesn't go anywhere, you know, for like so for, it only goes somewhere like really gradually over time. It sort of like doesn't get your attention for more than like a day or something. Like there's like like oh look we've found a black hole a picture we got a picture of a black hole and like oh everyone's interested about it for like a day. At least that's how it feels for me. I guess I'm not qualified to speak for everyone on this sort of thing. <laughs> but like the last time I th thought about like, oh, the space program and going to new planets, it's probably the last time like Elon Musk was talking about it, which to be fair, he does talk about that a lot. So it's kind of just whether or not you're hearing him. Care for a cup of java to pick you up? It's 200 bells. What blend would you like? Usual. Cool. I've got the special ice blend today, but it turned out a little differently. There we go. At the perfect temperature to bring out the flavor. 176 degrees. One fresh brewed cup. Drink up. Thanks, I will. Today's blend boasts some mild flavor. It's quite drinkable for those with unref unrefined palates. Unrefined palates. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, I reckon that's gonna be it for today. Had a good time. Good to see Wendell. And I've ordered some furniture. I'm gonna do some decorating tomorrow. That's exciting. It's always exciting. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, see you tomorrow.